Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majayal with the Possessor on Insane. Alright, we're in the Sandworm Lair, and we are slowly going to start making our way through. Letter to Wiseman. At one point, I did read all of these lore things. Actually, for pretty much every time I went through, I would read them, but not anymore. It's just... I really... The game isn't really about story anymore, it's about testing builds, which is, I find... Very fun for some reason. I don't know why. Same thing with Pathfinder Kingmaker. Baldur's Gate is definitely the better game, but Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and 3, or 1, 2, and 2.5. Two and um, but Pathfinder Kingmaker has just got not unlimited, but close to. It's got many, many different ways to build your team and your, your build. All right. This is a gloom stun, which is mental, so I'm going to shield it off. Take a step back. Actually, take many steps. Fudge. All right, let's just wait here a second. Then we will switch positions. And hopefully hold them there. There we go. Much better. I don't know what happened to his body. Is it still in there? It might still be in here. But now that one's dead, let's go ahead and check. Nope, I can't. I don't have enough. I don't have a good enough pick. This is why Sandworm Lair is very dangerous, because I can't really kite. So, I do have a decent amount of uh, ran boss bodies, so that will hopefully get me through here. If I run into something I can't kill, I can just turn into it and either use that body to escape or try to fight. That's going to be the question, whether I try to get away or do I fight. Because I still, sometimes, I just don't do enough damage, even inside a body. Eventually, the stats between you and the body play together to the point where it's basically like merging two stats together, or like taking two decently statted ran bosses and putting their stats together. Ouch because of these two skills right here. Self-persistence, when you assume the form of another body, you can still keep 71% of the values of your own body. And then when you assume the form of another body, you gain 82% of the values of that body. So basically they add it into one body. I think that is why possessors get so strong, especially in, in insane. Because you get access to a lot more stats than you normally would be able to. And even more stats than the enemies would be able to. Even the strongest Rand boss, obviously, doesn't have another body to add stats to. Alright. Let's go ahead and wild speed to get over here. That was not smart. Alright. Let's, uh... I'm going to get in a body... Let's go gun snake, because I imagine he's faster. What's your global speed? It doesn't say. Uh, I actually don't even know if I have the global speed one yet, but this one I can, I'm willing to lose. So automated cloak tessellation, yes. Cloaking device, maybe. Double shot, no. Evasive shot, no. Percussion bullets, no. Startling shot, no. Stunning blow, yes. Uncanny reload, no. Because all these are useless because we don't have a, a gun. There we go. Let's see if we can't daze him. Get him around here and start blowing him up. Oh, quap. He went through my side like crazy. Turn on cloak tessellation. Damn it. I can't I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. He's a rogue and a grappler or pfft brawler so we need to get out of here problem is he can run through the walls hopefully we got far enough away to confuse him so he just doesn't follow us but I really don't think that's gonna happen Let's heal to get our side back and 
I probably should have waited until I got out of the body because I don't remember what my health was, but no, that's okay. Because um, remember, healing your Psy while you're in a body is actually useful because it's your damage reduction. Shit. Is that... I can't tell if he's sitting on the the way out or not. No, I don't think so. Oh, God, the way back is down there. All right. Let's see if we can't speed up. Oh, come on. Get going. Go down to that hole. Okay, we got extremely lucky there. And something died also, which gave us a level. We are not, even if we got that grappler down here by himself, I don't think we'd be able to kill him, but I'm going to try anyway. Let's go with uh, Weapons Mastery. Eh, it's only 8% damage. How much accuracy is this going to give us? 9. You know what? Let's go with Radiate Agony. Uh, it lowers damage of enemies around you so long as they have less than 80% life, which might be useful specifically for this guy coming up because it's really only useful for things you can't burn down quickly, in my opinion. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, well. One point in Mind Whip is fine. We forgot to take all the points out before we put it put it in another one. Okay, six percent and eight percent, but the six percent's most likely going to be more than ours for the majority of the game. But sorry about that. I will put it on silent and throw it away. Okay, what do we want here? Uh, we could go with force shield. That's gonna make us. I don't, I don't care about the maximum life thing, uh, but it gives us eventually 16, 15% evasion because we wouldn't go to the last one. In addition, each time you take a, a melee hit, melee hit, the attacker automatically takes a revenge strike that deals up to 66% weapon damage as mine damage. That's, that's decent. Um, but yeah, that 15% evasion will make our bodies last longer as well. One, two, three. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So. All right, there he is. Let's leave. Clear this area first, and then we'll go back up and turn. No. You know what? No, I'm not going to go back up. Let's, let's play smart here. Let's not be stupid for a change. In that situation, Brawler by itself is bad, but also we're primarily kite right now. We also can't kite him. One, we're in sandworm lair, and two, he can just dig through the walls anyway. So let's just be smart. Brawler slash rogue that we can't run away from, that would just be stupid to fight. We'll come back later and murder him. He's right by the stairs. Uh, got everything except Doom Elf and Drum. Drums really have some fun combinations. I second that. Somebody said he should unlock Drum. And they are very fun. I am right now on my off time, I'm playing the Harrier, which is another uh, modded class, which is really fun. This guy's a bulwark. I should probably take him. Let's just take him. No, he's vermin. That's right. Shit. Let's jump in. Be on the other side of him. We are running out of options here, so... Why didn't that heal my Psy? Oh, god dang it. I'm... <laughs> god dang it. So I just healed whoever that had it on. All right, well, let's get into not our gun snake body because I ruined him. We're going to have to take the Minotaur. We'll go Stunning Blow instead of what? The 1.3 Warshout because he has two Warshouts. Um, you used to be able to see both of them on Adventurer, but not anymore. There used to be two... Is that guy Vermin too? There used to be two two-handed trees. 
And they both had Washout. So one was a two-handed something. Or no, I think they were Berserker trees. I think that's what they were. Basically ruined our Minotaur body as well. We are now officially out of usable bodies, so I'm going to start taking rares, unfortunately. Because the Minotaur is almost dead and the bear is almost dead. You know what, we need to get out of this body and heal. Rest and we'll go. Okay, I need to remember to hit F when I'm gonna melee so I switch to my two-hander. I also need to turn this on. It's so weird. I think it's because I have Zomnibus, but they're still grayed out even though I can use them. See? All right, we've got something here. What is it? You know what? Let's get them trapped in here. Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna... Shit. Okay, no, it is... F no, it's days, so I'm gonna have to wait. All right. Let's go ahead and hop back in our body. I think we're gonna have to. Shit. We got Fan of Knives, though. I almost guarantee it. Yeah, Fan of Knives. Damn it. And we got Willful Striked, but it didn't crit, so. Thank you, but I fear I will not survive anyway. We're gonna have to go back to that. We're not strong enough to get through there without uh, kiting. I, sh I should have known that and not have gone there. Daikara is more possible. We also can't do the thieves yet unless I side with him. And I I don't want to side with him. Let's look at our stuff real quick. Got 40 to 60. No, we have a tier 5 Voratune two-handed sword. So, two-handed sword. Gleam Pain. No. Let's take this. That's a 290 damage mind blast. That's not bad. All right, let's go kill Ben. We can do that, and we can also steal his body. Might actually be decent. Uh, depends on when he stops leveling. He is level 10. Okay, so no, he won't be super useful, but still useful. Got more hit points than I do by a decent amount. Let's go ahead and possess him and mine with him. Let's go ahead and see what he's got to offer. Oh, he didn't even really have, I didn't have to choose anything because he's just got it. Uh, he, We can choose as much skills as he has. I need uh, I don't want to kill all of them. I just want to practice on one. Okay. So let's take, oh, that's right. Why doesn't hate regenerate? Every other thing regenerates. All right, we'll turn on gloom. We'll attack him. What did I hit for? Not very much because I didn't use my two-hander. All right, 329 mine damage, not bad. Let's try slash. Frenzy isn't gonna give you a good one because it'll stop damaging him as soon as he dies and it's a multiple strike one. Nice, 603 physical damage. Okay, this is gonna be a decent a decent one. So let's save him for when we really need him. Or not really need him. He's obviously not gonna be super strong, but it's just a good body for what we're going for, a bumper build. I haven't found a Grimly yet. I'm guessing he is, um, if I get too close to the mountains, I don't wanna, I don't, I wanna save the merchant this time because I keep getting screwed with uh, enough random artifacts to make use of the font. And ending the game with 34 or 30,000 gold doesn't seem right. All right. We've still got two lives left and we will get another one eventually. So let's just slowly make our way through Daikara. 
we might be able to take some bodies in here, some rares that it will be useful because they all know uh, lightning. We'll go ahead and take this guy too. Bristle Barb is also very fun. It basically, um, the Bristle Barb extra class, you turn your equipment slots, like there's a talent tree that you have that turns your equipment slots into abilities. So you lose like your boots, but you gain a bunch of stats for it and a unique ability, which is really cool. Yes, we're definitely taking dragon. If uh, you haven't heard me talk about it before, the dragon, um, one of the dragons from the Room of Death is what I use for the entire second half of the game, like from level 35 up. And he got me all the way to high peak. I did have to cannibalize a little bit, but like he just destroyed the rest of the game on insane. Okay. I am going to want to take this guy, so let's get rid of... Ah, crap. We can't, because we only have four. So we'll just have to kill him. Heal. Jump away to get out of his maelstrom. Then get into the... This guy. Wait for him to go one step closer. And gravity spike and miss like an idiot. Let's remove him from time. We didn't because it didn't work. Okay. All these freaking cultists of entropy. All right, we'll do our dazing storm, then gravity spike, bring him close enough for us to hit him. Uh, we do have echoes from the past, but it only does 94 damage, so. We should probably just stick to our regular abilities, because these don't seem to do very much. Yeah. This teleport will be nice, though. All right, we need to take his body. So what we'll do is go around the corner with speed, get out of this body and then destroy it. Turn on our regeneration to counteract the stupid shit. We're not close enough to hit possess. So I have to walk one step closer, which might be not enough time to kill him. Okay, we're good. That was close. Oh, what are you? A rare grappler. That's okay. We can take care of you. Just a rare. I don't want to kill the hatchling in front of him. Sometimes they switch spots with him, and other times the AI wigs out and they try to go around. I don't, don't exactly know why. I thought it was a priority thing, like if this thing was a ran boss or something or if it was clearly more dangerous it would go around or it would switch places with the guy in front of him but it doesn't always work that way so it might be faction based i don't know if anybody knows let me know in the comments so much shit about this game by the time i learn my full brain's worth i've forgotten <laughs> i've forgotten something that i learned towards the beginning All right, we don't need to take him. Too low of hit points and he's a vermin. Too low of hit points for a rare. He's obviously got more than I do. We should probably take this guy. Phantasmal shield would be nice to have. It's, uh, if you don't know, they changed it. Now it like kind of explodes. You know what? We need to use one of these. Otherwise, we won't. We, we aren't gonna have enough room to take anything. Let's turn you two on. And if I run into an issue like before with that uh, 
with that cultist of entropy i might die trying to get out of my body and destroying it before he gets here or before i get him ready wait go what the heck oh he's got bone shield i thought it was uh void stars There we go, 277. I knew I'd get through there eventually. Let's destroy which one? No, nope. that's right, that's why we're in this body, is to get rid of it. All right. Let the disease hit this body, because we're going to get rid of it and get rid of it. Actually, you would think... Uh, Getting out of the body would get rid of the detrimental effects on you, but nope. What do we get? All right, we have an anorthal up there. They don't really make great bodies, in my opinion, because anorthals, they do low damage until you like build up to it, like with Corona and all their uh, sustains and stuff. Like their base damage isn't huge, but eventually they, they do get insane damage with Sunburst. Just don't think it would be a good body. Although, I think their heal would fix my Psy problem. You know what? Let's give them a try. I will give Anorthil bodies a second chance. Go ahead and get inside of him. That's what she said. Uh, glyphs? Maybe. Why not? We want Chant of Fortitude, right? Effective level 999. Nine, nine. Okay, no. So, okay, so this is why. Uh, the max level of talent that you can steal, I think it's 12. But for some reason, when we get into a body, see our effective talent level, it says 9.1. It's like treating the one point that we put into Fortitude as 5 for some reason. I don't know why. Moonlight Ray, Searing Light, Twilight, yeah, we'll keep those. We should regenerate positive and negative pretty quickly, so that might not be necessary, but we'll see. Maximum life by 28%, or do I want 18 physical damage resistance, 18 armor? You know what? No, I want this one. 22% fire, lightning, acid, and cold, cold damage resistance. 43 spell save, which is not bad, and reduces the damage from enemies three or more spaces away by 37%. That is crazy. Good job. 51% oh, stun, blindness, and confusion resistance. Oh, wow. I was wrong. This the, They do have really good passive buffs for you. Well, sort of passive. Sustained. I can't turn on two hymns at once, so... We'll just have to... The rest of them we don't really need. And we don't have room for it anyway. Okay. Huh. We got all of the hymns anyway. I... I I forget sometimes how all of these how, how all of this works because I don't think it's supposed to work that way but because the way they changed fortitude or the chance I think you just get more anyway. So the one we got was chant of resistance, right? Okay, so where is it? This is treated as level 8, but the other chants are only level 4 because we chose chant of resistance, I think. Hymn of Perseverance, yes. 49% Stun Blindness and Confusion Resistance. That brings us up to 100% Confusion. No, that's because of the body we're in. So 67% Stun and 50% Blindness. Not bad. These giants are immune to Confuse, which is annoying because one of these Solipsis spells, if you can't, if they're immune to Confusion, then they're immune to the damage of the, the ability, which really sucks. Because it otherwise, it does decent damage. Let's turn on our glyphs. I am liking this. Uh, there's one thing I need to do with uh, possessors. 
Whoops. Okay. Uh, the order in which you learn things. See, I've got, uh, when I'm not in a body, you get one, two, three, four, five, six flags for where you put the ability. So what I need to do is maybe keep them all down here. I need, to keep, I need to get them in order is what I'm trying to say. But then also the order in which you pick them, like I click on the abilities first, I think that's the number one ability. So when I'm picking a body, I should, I should always like pick the buffs first. That way always my buffs will go over here. Like I can move the tooltip. Otherwise you get this disorganized mess over here, which is really annoying. Being disorganized is fine if it's your, your main stuff because you, you use them all the time, you know where they are. But with possession, like I'll just forget, see, chant of resistance, I don't even have it on. It's because of this. Unmark talent for restart, turn it on. There we go. We're down to 132 life, so we need to get out of this body. I will do that shit now. All right, we might have gotten away quick enough that he didn't see us. Get rid of Mr. Zubadera. All right, shoot, he's got utter cold. Let me at least look what his freeze damage can do. 250, okay, so as long as he doesn't crit, we'll survive. You know what, let's try to stun him. Does this stun? I know. No, it doesn't. But it created a nice little guy for us. We need to stay topped off until he freezes. All right, that is not good. We're gonna run away. Ouch. Wait it out. I'm gonna turn on my regeneration now. I was sure he was gonna freeze me. Oh well, possess him and attack him. And we got level 20, which is awesome. That is definitely what we needed. We need Body Snatcher or Deep Horror. I don't remember exactly which ones they are, but let's go over them right now. We got three minutes. That's what we'll do for the rest of this, this video before we move on. All right, Bodies in Reserve, Bodies Reserve. That's a, <laughs> that's a very straightforward name, Bodies Reserve. Your mind is so powerful, it can bend reality, providing you with an extra natural storage for bodies you snatch. So you can store up to four to seven bodies, that's perfect. We probably will go with this first. Deep Horror, if I remember right, it's better for when you've already got your bodies, like you've got enough bodies and stuff, but we'll, we'll see. Psychic Minion. You imbue part of your own mind into a body without actually taking its form. The body will work as your minion for 12, up to 29 turns, wow. Uh, psionic Minions cannot heal in any way. When the effect ends, the body is permanently lost. Uh, this can be useful for uh, giving you a way to escape, but I would not. I wouldn't use it as an offensive uh, tactic because you would like you obviously control your minions better than uh, the AI would, and uh, I think you would just it would be a waste. Maybe actually, what I think we'll do is we'll just always keep a rare body in stock, and we'll send that out as our like sacrificial minion. Like if it's a hard fight, maybe I'll send it out to share the damage. Psionic duplication. When you store a body, you also store three more identical copies of it that you can use later. When you store a rare, unique boss or higher rank creature, you only get a third of its value, but never less than one. This is awesome, 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 awesome. So if you find an amazing, an amazing ran boss, you basically, you get two of them. Like if it's a rare, uh, actually, yeah, even with a rare, you only get a third of the uses. So it's really only useful for ran bosses because yeah, a rare is only gonna get one more as well, which is odd. The three more, okay, it gets up to eight. So a third of that would be two extra uses, I think. I think it rounds up. So basically when you take a Rand boss, you find one that's really powerful, you get three uses of it. Cannibalize, when you assume a form, you may cannibalize a body in your reserve to replenish your current body. You can only use bodies that are of the same or higher rank 
for the effect to work. And each time you heal a body, the effect will be reduced by 33% for that body. You, your current body will heal for 45% of the max life of the cannibalized one, up to 91%. And you will also regenerate 50% of this value as Psy. The healing effect is more psionic in nature than a real heal. As such, may thing, many things that prevent healing will not prevent cannibalize from working. So like inverted healing, cannibalize is the only possible way to heal a body. Um, I found that this is kind of like overkill. By the time you can act, you actually have the, the ran boss bodies to heal your own ran bosses, or like you're willing to waste that on it, then it's like games over at that point but that being said i did use it i did use it quite a few times on my my overpowered dragon all right <clears throat> mind steal your mere presence is a blight in your foes minds using this link you are able to reach out and steal a talent from a target for 36 turns max uh you will be able to use a random active not passive not sustained talent from your target and they will lose it you may not steal a talent which you already know. The stolen talent will not use any resources to activate. At level 5, you are able to choose which talent to steal. The talent stolen will be limited to at most level 6 at the end. Um, I think you can steal prodigies with this, but I don't I don't know for sure. But like a good one would be stealing forgery of haze. But the problem with this is that you're limited by the people that you're fighting. So it's really never going to be... It's random whether or not it's going to be amazing. But, like, if you were in Ray Lauren camp, you could steal Timeless with this. Uh, for a brief moment, your whole body becomes ethereal, ethereal, and you dash into a nearby creature and all those in a sh in straight line behind it. Range 3 up to what? Range 3? Why are you doing that? Range 8. You reappear on the other side with 91 more Psy at max and having dealt 205 mind damage to your targets. Decent. It's a movement ability, and you can rege regenerate Psy with it. So good. Not not great, but good. You gotta remember, Psy is kind of like your hit points. It's not gonna stop you from dying, but it's gonna slow your HP loss when you're in a body. Writhing psionic mass. Your physical form is but a mere extension of your mind. You can bend it at will for three turns. While under the effect, you gain 15% all resistances and have 14% chance to ignore all critical hits for it's up to five turns. On activation, you also remove up to two physical or mental effects. Uh, it's not bad, but like the 47% all resistance is, that's not going to be as useful because you should have your resistances up to the point where that amount of all resistance isn't going to help you. But not bad. Ignore all critical hits. That's good too, but you really can't. It's hard to tell when you're going to get critical hit, so... You'll never know if that helped you or not. But debuff clears. That's good. Ominous form. Your psionic powers have no limits. You are now able to assault a target and clone its body without killing it. The form is only temporary, lasting eight turns and subject to the same restrictions as your normal powers. While using a stolen form, your health is bound to your target. Your life percentage will always be identical to your target's life. Psionic or psy cost is 77. I don't... Someone will have to tell me how that's useful because I don't think... If it's got the same restrictions once it dies, then you basically get stunned, right? So you'd have to take their body, attack with it, but not plan on killing it. Then get out of the body and then finish it off. I don't know. Maybe if it was a one-on-one -on -one fight and you're, you're almost dead, you can just steal his body for a couple turns. But we'll probably ignore this one for a while until we get all of our other points up and going. One, two, three, four. All right. Bodies in reserve. We can store up. We already had one point into it, so let's go up to seven. Um, that's good for now. Eventually, we'll get more points into it, but we need to spend our points on other things. You imbue a part. The body will work as a minion. I don't like that for right now. When you store a body, you also store three. We want one point in this. Um, you get the most out of one point because it's always going to be one more body, and we'll have to put uh, four more points into it to get the second body. Cannibalize, not going to get that yet. All right, this should help us quite a bit. Well, I didn't even check out my generics. Uh, torture Mind, as long as you have at least a stack of Sadus, you can mentally lash out at a target, sending horrible images to its mind. The target will reel from the effect for 10 turns, up to 10 turns, rendering four random talents unusable for the duration. That's okay. But uh, 
we're not going to go in here. There's five, six, seven boulder throwers in there, and if they all hit me at once, I'm going to die. I learned my lesson before. Um, early levels are rough for Temporal Warden. Eh, kind of, yeah. Bows, if you don't get lucky, kind of suck in the beginning. You need good arrows. 36 defense on this. Not bad, but we're wearing heavy armor. All right, that's where we're going to leave it for now. Um, we still got three levels to go in Dakar or two, or whatever, however long it goes. But uh, that's where we'll leave it for now. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time.